Hey guys, Daniel Bates with The Real Estate Tomato. Today I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you how to create a nice clean looking um, slideshow for your website. And so, uh, you know, it just snowed for the first time in McClellanville, um, where I'm at since 1989. And so it, it, we don't get to see a lot of snow, so when it came, it was here for less than 24 hours before it all melted away, and I was out there snapping pictures of it in the early morning hours. But basically I want to show you how you can create a similar looking slideshow on your website. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Flickr. This is a free product. I've talked about it before and I'm just a really big fan of it. Um, there are monthly, it's, it's done on a monthly upload limit. And so unless you want to pay for the Flickr Pro account, you can upload a certain amount of images every month. You know, and I've hit that limit once or twice before, but you know, I'm never in such an urgency with images that I can't you know wait and put some more in there and so maybe getting started it might you know you might hit your limit a couple of times but for for little things like this when I want to upload a whole bunch of images it really isn't that often so what we're gonna do is basically create a photo set here so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to organize and create there's a tab up here called sets and if I hadn't already created one, I would just click create a new set, give it a name and everything. And then this is all of your images down here. So from here, I can just click and drag whatever images I want. Maybe I just wanted to do one of, you know, shots on the water or, or whatever and just put waterfront McClellanville. And so you can create as many sets as you want with overlapping images. But once you've created that set, you're going to go all the way back to the home page of Flickr. And then you're going to click under U and go to your sets. So it took me a while to figure that out, but you gotta come in here and actually view your sets. So from there, you're gonna click on um, the set that you want, and then there's a button up here that says slideshow. So here I can click slideshow, and this is the URL that I wanna copy up here. You can see that the slideshow starts playing, and so we wanna copy this URL, and then go into our post, and now we wanna frame that URL. So we're gonna come in here, um, put, put our cursor wherever we want this to go, and click the tomato frame button. Simply paste in that URL. And then this is an instance where it's gonna take a little trial and error, but um, you know I figured out that precisely 425 by 318 looked really good on my site. And so from there, you're just gonna update it, and again, it's gonna look just like this and so it's got this little flicker frame around it but when you move your cursor away for a minute all that goes away and it's just a nice looking slideshow um, so anyway um, I hope that helps I actually started off this post I wanted to show you a service called cool iris which some of you might have seen um, it's a really neat service unfortunately I cannot get cool iris to work on Internet Explorer without people having to download additional software and for me that just wasn't acceptable so maybe cool iris will figure something out and and we can get a way to frame it in but for right now it's not a uh, not a, a plausible solution for me so I'm gonna keep sticking with Flickr um, and Flickr is just a great place to have your images you know another place on the web I used to be a big believer in having all of, I would have uploaded all these images and used a plug-in like Next Gen Gallery and created a slideshow. Um, and that's not a bad solution. The problem is you're reliant on a plug-in like Next Gen Gallery, which we've often had a lot of problems with. And so, you know, there's always that side of the coin where you live by the plug-in, you die by the plug-in. If, if one of them is really great to you, provides a lot of resources, but then it has some problems, then you just never know, you know, how reliable that's going to be. So I'm sticking with Flickr for the time being and, and using it for little things like this. Again, if you're use, if you wanted to host pictures of a uh, of a um, listing that you've got or something like that, that's a more commercial venture, then you're going to want to find another solution, and uh, and you're probably going to end up having to pay for that solution unless you actually create a video and then maybe upload it on YouTube. But that's all I want to show you today. If you have any questions, f please feel free to email molly at therealestatetomato.com. Thanks. Bye.